Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial from Milan Creative Co. A few weeks ago someone requested the Razzo Pattern tutorial, so today I'm going to show you how to make the Razzo Patterns in Illustrator. If you are not familiar with the Razzo, it was originally a flooring material consisting of chips of marble, glass or granite set in concrete. Today it's used a lot in interior design, but it also looks great for branding, packaging designs and I even saw it on fabrics. You can find many interesting ideas on Pinterest. I'm going to make a new document that's 6 by 6 inches. This is the size I normally use for pattern tiles. I'm also going to set the color mode to CMYK and the resolution to 300 points per inch. Click create to continue. We are going to create the shapes using the pen tool. The shortcut is P. I'm also going to change the fill color to black and remove the stroke. So to create the shape, just click on your artboard to add the first anchor point and just continue clicking to add other anchor points. Your shape should resemble a chip of glass or marble and if you want to close the path, just move your mouse over the first anchor point and you can see a small circle near the pen tool. Just click on it and it will be closed. So you'll have to create many different shapes. It's important to create smaller or larger ones. And like I said, they should resemble real terrazzo, but we are going to make a few changes to them. So this won't be the final pattern. So just continue creating these shapes until you fill the artboard. Once I have this pattern on my artboard, I am going to select everything and recolor the items. I have in the swatches panel a color scheme that has earthy tones, so first I'm going to use this light grey to color everything and then I am going to use the selection tool and hold down the shift key to randomly select shapes and I am going to recolor them. I'm going to use this red for a few of them and also this dark blue and let's add another color. I think this is enough. I also like to select all of them and use the recolor artwork tool. This is one of my favorite tools and you can find really interesting color combination using it. So just click on the color groups and then click on the randomly change color order. I think I like this one, but I want a bit of red in it. Oh, this one is really nice, so I'm going to use this one. This pattern could be a terrazzo pattern, a camouflage pattern, or even an animal print pattern, depending on the colors you use. So I'm going to use two illustrator tools that are really helpful, and I don't think I've showed them to you before, to kind of create that organic terrazzo look. Select everything and then go to Object, Path, Simplify. As you can see, I have the preview button checked and the shapes are already a bit changed. So I usually like to keep the curve precision somewhere between 50% and 80%. And the shapes are a bit rounder and I actually like this look, but if you want you can also move the angle. And you can see there are some straight lines now. Let's move the curve to 60% and the angle to 100. And if you click on show original, you can see where the original paths were with this red over here. So click OK to save it. It looks nicer now, but I want to show you a tool that will really make it look like an actual terrazzo pattern. So make sure everything is selected and then go to object, transform, transform each. First, make sure preview is checked to view the changes and also make sure transform objects is checked. You can see this menu has many options. First, I'm going to make the shapes a bit smaller, so I'm going to use 50% for horizontal and 50% for vertical. 
I don't like to use different scales for horizontal and vertical because the shapes will look a bit distorted and I don't want that. Now you can also move them a bit but it's not important right now. What I like to do is to check the random button. As you can see when I check it some of the shapes will be larger and some will be smaller. So let's make the scale even smaller and see what happens. So you can see these are really small, but if you check the button, some of them will be larger and I really like this look. If you want, you can also rotate some of them. Some of the shapes will overlap and it will create a more organic look and now you can also move them a bit. So I think I'm going to leave the scale to 30% and maybe change the horizontal distribution. I really like how this looks so I'm going to press ok to save it. This will be our basic terrazzo tile and we will turn it into a seamless pattern. If you have an older version of Illustrator you will have to use the manual method for this but if you are using CS5 or newer we are going to use the pattern tool. So make sure everything is selected and just go to object pattern make to open the pattern options. A pop-up will appear that will tell you that the pattern has been added to the swatches panel. You can see it over here. And any changes you make will then be applied to the pattern. So click OK to close this. As you can see, depending on how you have the copy set, you can already see uh, the seamless pattern over here, though it's not quite seamless right now. So the first thing I want to do is uncheck the size style to art if it's checked and set the width and height to 6 inches because this is the size of my artboard and I like to make a pattern tile that's the same size as my artboard. You don't have to do that, just make sure you write down the width and height of your pattern. When I make terrazzo pattern, I like to have the tile type set to grid. You can also use a different tile type like brick. I also want to move some of the shapes to cover these areas where there is a lot of white space. You also have to make sure that the shapes are not in a straight line on the edges because that grid will be visible and it's not very nice. So. Let's zoom in and I'm going to move this over here and you can see when I move this, it also moves on the other side. So that's a really nice thing about uh, the pattern tool. So let's move some of these. I also don't like that there are too many shapes of the same color over here, so I'm going to change the color of one of them. Let's zoom out and see how it looks. I'm going to make five copies. And I think it already looks better, but there are some areas over here in the middle that I don't like that much, so I'm going to move these as well. Let's rotate them. I think this pattern looks much better. So to save your pattern, just click on done. So I'm going to group these and just move them over here. So to test our pattern, just click on the pattern in the swatches panel and use the rectangle tool to create a larger rectangle. And as you can see, it looks really great. Maybe there are some areas over here where we could add some shapes, but it's not really that important for this type of pattern. If you want to save your terrazzo pattern as a seamless pattern tile, use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle that's the same size as your artboard. Mine is six by six inches or the same size as your seamless pattern tile. So I'm going to create one that's the same size as my artboard and then I'm going to go to the align panel to align it to the artboard. Then to save it, I am going to go to file, export, export as. Rename your pattern and save it as a JPEG. 
if you want, if your pattern is the same size as your artboard and if it's perfectly aligned to it, you can check the options to use artboards. But please remember that if your pattern is larger or smaller or if it's not aligned, then the pattern tile you save will not be seamless. So I usually don't use this option. Then click on export to save the pattern. You can use the color mode RGB or CMYK depending on how your document is set. And I usually use a resolution of 300 points per inch and also make sure the anti-aliasing is set to art optimized and click OK to save. Before I go, I want to show you how to use the first terrazzo pattern you made to create different terrazzo patterns. So double click on your pattern to go back to the pattern options. I'm going to select everything and I am going to use the recolor artwork tool to change the color scheme. I think I like this one, so click OK to save it. And then I'm going to go back to object, transform, transform each. When you go back, it will reapply the settings you applied last time. So if you want, you can change the scale again. I want this to be a bit smaller than the other one. And you can also move the shapes a bit and maybe rotate them. You can also check reflect x and reflect y and as you can see it's a bit different right now so just click ok to save it so let's zoom out and see how our pattern looks i think we should move some of the shapes I think it looks better now. So to save a copy of your second pattern, just click here on save a copy. You can give it a new name if you want. And you can see you have another pattern in the swatches panel. Now to exit to the pattern menu, click on cancel. If you click on done, it will save this copy of the pattern over the first copy. So we don't want that. So just select the a rectangle that's on your artboard and click on the second pattern to apply this. This will also be a seamless pattern tile. And if you want, you can add a background. I'm going to select this light gray and I think I want it to be even lighter. This is better. And I'm going to select the rectangle tool again and create a rectangle that's the same size as my artboard. I'm going to line it and then send it to the back. I think I want it even lighter than it is. This looks much better. So now you can save your seamless pattern tile by going to File, Export and Export As. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if there are other pattern design tutorials that you'd like to see. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching!